little sprinkling going on today. I don't think it's enough to shut things down. Uh, I'll do some uh, horizontal stringers today. Just to give you a good idea, you know, basically what you really want to do is just uh, kind of learn what to look for in uh, rod movement and your puddle. I got just a little short stubby from the other day. Okay, here we go. Hope I make it to the end of the plate with this. This is just basically uh, something on the floor that we can stack on top of, that's all. Yeah, I'm running out of rod. Yeah. How far did I make it? Well, yeah, I'll get another one. Hey, here's an old wet one. I bet it won't run, but we'll give it a shot. We set out in the rain. Oh, would you look at that? It's not going to be any good, but... Ah. Some of this stuff out of here. I'm just getting stuff kind of in between rain showers. I got the plates cut earlier that we're going to work with, you know, the coupons. I put everything away, wait for the rain, and get it all out again. <laughs> you can see the difference between the uh, good dry rod and the wet rod. I mean, it, it's not terrible, but you can see there is a little bit of a difference. Okay, I'm going to run Hobart's. Oh, well, yeah, I got I was clear up 95 amps. Okay, we're going to run them at 90. I got them in my back pocket here so they don't get wet. Yeah, let's see, I'll set them up there. It looks dry. I have to kind of tuck my head into my chin because I'm wearing reading glasses, you know, so I can see through them. And I'm always a little worried it's going to mess up what you guys see because it, my head's at an unnatural angle. And sometimes it obscures the view from the hood. Another thing it does too is uh, I get a crick in my neck. I mean, just something, something there. And uh, what it does is it causes my head to shake. So <laughs> if it looks a little shaky, that's my head. <laughs> Okay, set that off the side there. Okay, what I really wanted you to see on these uh, horizontals is how I'm dealing with undercut. See, there's no undercut there. And a horizontal, you're dealing with gravity. And what gravity will do is it'll pull your puddle down and it'll leave just a hairline gap up here. And that's undercut. And there, it, it, it's, you just don't want to see that. Uh, it, it, well, it, it's an improper weld. Okay, let me do another one. Oh, 
always like to hold these like a pencil. It's, it's just easier for me. Uh, I can do a better. I can do a better weld that way, actually. It's kind of like painting a line, you know. head shaking towards the end of that. That's just what happens. Nothing I can do about it. Ah, looks like we're getting a little bit of rain again. You can see I washed that uh, bead a little bit wider. Just to give you a better idea of what I was doing with the uh, puddle. Okay, see, there again, we don't have any uh, undercut. Now, if you watched, and you may have to go back and watch it again, when I'm running, I'm doing a drag, but not a 100% drag. What I'm doing is making a tiny, 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 tiny little uh, circular motion with my rod. Now, it's not whipping. Whipping is if you went in like this, and like this, and like this. Whipping, basically what you're doing is you're depositing uh, a dollop of metal, letting it cool while you're up, kind of messing around out here. And then you go back in again. You go back into the puddle and you're just building little layers. I guess that, that's kind of like what they call stack of dimes, I guess. But you don't do that with 7018 because 7018, you uh, pull that little trick and you'll get slag in the uh, weld and you got, well, you got a bad weld. But what I do is just a tiny, tiny little circular motion and the purpose of that is to shove that metal back into that trench you've been digging. See, here's the trench right here. See that? I hope you can see it. Um, see that little groove there? That, that's where your uh, arc has dug that plate out. And you have to fill that. I mean, that, that's, what you're, that's why they call it filler material, you know? <laughs> and the way to do that is instead of a, just a straight back drag with no motion, Add that little tiny, tiny, tiny push there. It's all you're doing. Now, if you looked at the left edge of that puddle on the left side of your screen, you saw it was an unbroken line. Uh, that means that you haven't outstepped your puddle. You outstep your puddle, you lose that line. So there again, you're not whipping. But it will close up that uh, undercut for you. Um, let me see, I got some, uh, well, I'll just run another one of these. I was gonna grab some Excalibur, but I'm kind of funny. I don't. Uh, all right, let's run another one of these and concentrate on the puddle. I'm running out of rod here. go see no undercut and that that's what you're that's what you really want to concentrate on